tell me about your job. Sure, so right now I'm the manager of IT system operations for First Energy, uh, and I've been in that role for about four years. So what experiences or specific people helped you choose your career? Yeah, there's been a few experiences. I would say uh, growing up, my father was a big role model of mine. My father was a computer programmer back in the day when computers were a lot bigger, a lot clunkier than they are now, a lot slower. Um, however, I was always so fascinated when I was a kid watching him work. Uh, and he always talked about how it was a good job. Uh, you know, I also spent a lot of my time in, in school, grammar school, high school, et cetera, playing video games. And so just being attracted to that type of technology, I was just inherently drawn to it and thought that, you know, a career in computers and technology might be for me. What was a struggle in school or your career and how did you face it? Yeah, one of the big obstacles that I overcame in my career is being able to learn that, A, I'm not always going to be the most knowledgeable at any one subject. Uh, I started in a very technical role, moved into a manager role. So in the beginning, in a technical role, it's very easy to maybe be the most knowledgeable on the team about something. Whereas once you get into manager roles, you have to be able to trust your people uh, and, the, and the knowledge that they have, that they're going to be doing what's best for the team and for the company and everything. And there's also the uh, the fact that you can't always please everybody, right? You know, I, I'm definitely a big people pleaser. I wanna make sure I'm doing whatever I can to make those around me happy and motivated. But sometimes you just have to make decisions where it's going to be split and you have to be okay with the fact that they might not be thrilled with you based on the decisions that you've made and sometimes when you're just being a sensitive person caring person at heart uh, sometimes I struggled a little bit with that uh, that's a lesson and an obstacle I definitely had to overcome and while I say I'm doing a lot better with it today uh, I, I feel like I still have some work to do there how do communication skills, relationship skills, or conflict management skills help you in your career? Yeah, so conflict management skills are one of those things that you also don't learn in school much, and it's one of those things that, uh, as a manager in almost any sector, that you're going to have to have. You know, you're going to have members of your team that are might be uh, not not performing well. You also might have members on your team that aren't working well with each other, right? So it's kind of awkward to have to pull those people aside and have those types of of conversations, right? Uh, nobody likes to have those conversations, uh, but they're really, really important in the workplace because if people uh, are holding back because they feel like they can't work with somebody or they're not performing as well, then that's going to affect the bottom line of the team. Uh, it's going to lower morale on the team. Uh, you know, if they see someone who's not carrying their sh fair share of the work, then they might think, well, why should they? And so to be transparent with your team, to be able to pull those people aside, to have those difficult conversations, is a, is a crucial, crucial skill. And again, that's one of those things they don't always teach you in school. So I really implore people to understand those types of conflict resolution skills if going into management is something that they want to do.